Next example. Same thing, guys. If we have a function um, that is not isolated, the first thing we want to do is isolate it. So we set tangent of theta divided by 2 equals negative square root of 3 over 3. Now the next thing is my expectation that you know the unit circle by now. Agreed? So many of you already forgot, right? Had winter break. It's like, whoa, I need to go back and review before I take the quiz. So hopefully you guys can remember in the first quadrant, if you remember when tangent was pi over 3, square root of 3, that was pi over 3. So square root of 3 over 3 is the angle pi over 6. But again, we're not looking for positive pi over 3 over 3. We're looking for the negative version. That's going to be in the second as well as in the fourth quadrant. So we need this angle and that angle. Or again, we're trying to find all the solutions. So let's just find this first angle. That's going to be 5 pi over 6. And again, I'll give you, the, uh, I'll give you this answer. So this is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Right, that's that coordinate point. And again, guys, if you take the y over the x, you simplify everything that we learned how to simplify, you're going to get negative square root of 3 over 3. Right? If you rationalize the denominator, multiply by the reciprocal, all that kind of jazz. We've already done it multiple times, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. You would get that. So that is the solution. Um, however, if we're writing all the solutions, are these related to each other? Are these equidistant from each other? Yes. Doesn't, don't, don't you guys see how we can just add pi to give us the solution? We don't need to find both these answers and then add 2 pi to them. right? We can just find one answer and then just add pi to it. So therefore, this answer is 5 pi over 6. So we could say theta halves is equal to 5 pi over 6 plus pi n. That's a 6. I never knew. I guess sixes were drawn like that. I always drew it like this. No, like people used to make fun. Like, here's how I, I draw my six like this. People would say like, yeah, I never knew that. People said I was like weird for doing it that way. Yeah. So, but again, we don't solve for theta halves. We are going to solve for theta. So to undo divided by two, we need to. Multiply everything by 2. So theta equals 10 pi over 6. It is easier that way. Plus 2 pi n. And then I can just simplify this answer for those of you that are not paying attention. That's going to be 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. So that is all the solutions to the equation. Now again, the next one is find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So again, between 0 and 2 pi, let's make n 0. So when n is 0, I'm just left with 5 pi halves. What about when n is 1? That's, 10, or that's 6 pi over 3, right? 6 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 3 is 11 pi over 3. Is that larger than 2 pi? 2 pi is 6 pi over 3 in terms of thirds. Are you guys following? Not following? OK. Here's 5 pi over 3. Do you, ag oh, sorry. Do you agree that that is a solution? Yeah. Well, let's pretend n is 1. Let's add 5 pi. Again, remember my restriction is 0 to 2 pi. In terms of thirds, that's 0 to 6 pi over 3. Agreed? So if I take 5 pi over 3 and I add it to 2 pi, which is the same thing as saying, 5 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, that gives me 11 pi over 3, which is not in that restriction. It's over. The angle's too big. So the only answer between 0 and 2 pi is 5 pi over 3. OK? All right. I know. Yeah, see, I'm going back to my original way. All right, you guys are up. Now it's your guys' turn. Um, let's just do the uh, 